47. August 5th, 2012 was the day I released my album, Illumination. So the year 2022 was the 10 year anniversary of this release. So why am I talking about it and why is it such a special album for me? I released a little debut album called KFC in 2007. And then I had a baby in 2008. I released a lullaby baby album in 2009. I had another baby in 2010. We were living in a small apartment above a garage, just trying to balance life and being new parents to two small children. I had just made the decision to quit teaching piano. So I could concentrate on putting more time into composing and my music. And in between all of this, I was just writing music when I could. had a chance, a moment here and there, in between all of the chaos. Beautiful! I was just writing songs when I could, and that album took me four years to complete. And it was definitely a glow up album for me as well. I remember I just upgraded a bunch of my virtual sound libraries. I also started using higher end software. And I was using more and more real instruments, real voices in my music. Tuner? Yeah, I have my tuner. Upgraded to a new mixing engineer. More expensive. This is Jennifer Thomas, and this is Rob Beaton. The official title, um, <laughs> probably audio engineer, Mi mixer, mixer, mixer uh, stylist, <laughs> audio stylist, taste maker. <laughs> so, in addition to writing and composing all of the music for this album, I also orchestrated most of the songs myself, with the exception of a few that I invited Glenn Gabriel, whom you probably all definitely know his name by now because he's now co-produced my last two albums. But at that time, I had asked him to add some extra percussive elements, some synth work, and he also did a little bit of additional orchestration on a few songs. I worked relentlessly on Illumination, just trying to make it the best I could possibly ever create at that time. Everything from the artwork, the photo shoots, the videos. I 
I filmed two music videos for the album, one of which was Illumination, which is the title track. And also one for Requiem for a Dream. always wanted to film a music video for Etude for the Dreamer, but I just never did. In fact, I've had a Pinterest board for over five, at least five years of ideas. I don't know, I want to say seven years now. I've had, anyways, I've had this Pinterest board for a very long time, and it was always a project I had in the back of my mind. I always wanted to do it one day if I could. And I'm happy to say I finally filmed a music video for Etude for the Dreamer, and I'm so excited. working on this video for the past year. By the way, I'm filming in my garage and it's 18 degrees outside, 45 degrees in here. You can literally see my breath. <sighs> it's so cold. My album Illumination has been in circulation worldwide for about 10 years now and it has about 350 million streams. So much of the music from that album has been used in the world of sports, such as figure skating, gymnastics, dance, ballet. So Requiem for a Dream was used in the 2022 Winter Olympics by USA skater Karen Chen. Another song from Illumination that was used is New World Symphony, and that was used by Alyssa Liu. She actually made a world record skating that song. And here it is, the quad Lutz. This has never been attempted. The US champs in the ladies event. ago I had absolutely no idea any of this would happen. Okay. <laughs> this is Jennifer Thomas and um Hi everyone. Uh Hi everyone. <laughs> Anything to say? Just oh. here to have fun. Hopefully. Musical Orchestra. Drum roll. <laughs> He's gone now. Victoria Toka. Victoria. Here she goes. The award show. I won. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I didn't win. Cute blonde girl from Sweden won. He sang opera. <laughs> And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Thomas. <laughs> Thank you so much to the HMAs for what you do for musicians. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our stage Jennifer Thomas.
fact, in the days when I had to submit my own music to Pandora to hope that it would get on, um, nowadays the distributors send it out, but um, 10 years ago I had to submit everything myself and Pandora was super, super picky about who they were putting on the stations. And Illumination actually didn't originally get accepted onto Pandora. I believe their reason was we already have enough of this genre of music. And nowadays anyone can get their music onto Pandora, but like it but in 2012 that wasn't the case. I remember turning in my submissions to Pandora just hoping it would get on and watching the little bar go across the screen at different stages of the submission process and just hope that it would get in. But through some work and some convincing, we were actually able to get them to change their minds. And by some miracle Illumination was accepted onto Pandora. This turned out to be absolutely pivotal to my music career because it was the album that launched me. hobby of writing music into an actual legitimate career. Over the years, it has become my biggest success. All of this from just trying to write music during a time in my life when I was juggling babies, composing, juggling family life. Like, maybe I would finish writing a song for this album like once every few months. Take them away. I just want to say that the reason why Illumination has been so successful is because of you. This success was because of the fans and Pandora. Every CD of Illumination that I've signed, every concert attendee, every YouTube view, every stream, every time someone spread the news of my music to someone new who hadn't heard of me before, the people have been my publicists, distribution, my biggest support. You guys have championed me and this album and my music out to the world. Uh, it's been amazing for me over the last few years because she sends me you know, she's composing her songs. What do you think of this? What do you think? So I've got to hear Illumination over the last couple of years as it's been, you know, being developed. And I've been telling her the whole time this album is gonna, it's gonna make you soar and take you amazing places. And so my husband has a joke that he used to tell me, you know, when people start buying your CDs that aren't your friends and family, you've made it. <laughs> It was my friends who were filmmakers, directors, photographers, and more. Uh, I'm Ryan McNeil, I'm the director. And our lovely assistant here. Noelle. <laughs> I've known her since I was five. It's true. And she did my makeup. <laughs> and of course, the photographer, Ron Southworth, working hard, even <laughs> without his subject. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this album. It is such a special album to me. It will always have a special place in my heart. I'm so grateful to all of you, especially those of you who have been with me since the beginning and have been cheering me on. I couldn't have done this without you. And to anyone new here, welcome and thank you. I've got more music coming in 2023 and I'm just getting started.